hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity and thank you so much for clicking on this video please remember to like share and subscribe to my channel today we are crocheting this beautiful blue shorts it's most summer vibes and you can go with these shorts to the beach or anywhere else and this is how the shorts look i'll show you the close-up of the shorts then we'll start with the crocheting so this is the close-up of the shorts and to work on these shorts you need your hips measurements only and you'll be good to go i am using 100 percent acrylic yarn this is thin yarn so i will double my yarn to get the medium weight effect if you have medium weight yarn that will be perfect a pair will use a 3 0.5 mm hook for crocheting you'll need a pair of scissors stitch markers a darning needle and a tape measure for this project and as i said i'm doubling my yarn and remember we are working from the waist going downwards and to start working on this project you'll start first by making a slip knot Once you've made your slip knot, take your hips measurements and you're going to chain as long as your hips measurements is. My hips measurement is 38 inches and I'm going to chain as long as my hips measurement is. So chain up to your hips measurements and I'll meet you once you're done. Uh, my cue, you can just chain while stretching and as you stretch, make sure your work stretches to your hips measurement so i am done and when i stretch this it stretches to my hips measurement which is 38 inches okay you're going to straighten your work like this and we are joining the beginning to the end using a slip stitch please make sure your work is straight before you join otherwise you will not have straight work and we're joining the beginning to the end using a slip stitch like this And you'll have a round big circle this is the round big circle that is our waist okay and now we want to start working on this row two of the pair of shirts so you will chain one and we are starting to work on single crochets on each stitch that we created okay so after the slip stitch chain one and we are working with single crochets And you will do single crochets all round until we meet here where we began from okay so do single crochets all round and I'll meet you at the end of the row I am done with row one of single crochets and this is how it looks and we will join the beginning to the end using a slip stitch okay and then chain two chains turn your work and now we are working with a row of double crochets across all the stitches that you have that is row two and you're working with double crochets all round and i'll meet you here where we began so that we join using a slip stitch
I am at the end and we're joining on top of chain two. That chain two that we started with, put a, your hook on top there and join using a slip stitch. Chain two, turn your work and we are doing another row of double crochets all round. So we're going to do double crochets all round until you get to 6.5 inches long okay so we are doing double crochets all round when you come to the end you join using a slip stitch and then you chain two turn your work and begin another row of double crochets and we are working like that until you get to 6.5 inches long okay so do that and i'll meet you once you are at 6.5 inches long remember this short it's all sizes so it will fit all sizes from small to extra large so i'll be giving measurements on all sizes As I said, you are working up to 6.5 inches long and I am done. This is 6.5 inches long. And now we want to start working on our leg holes, okay? This is how your work should look. I'm just finishing up on the last stitch. And then I will join using a slip stitch and then we will begin working on our leg holes. So on this last row we are also joining using a slip stitch on top of chain 2. And now this is how your work should look before you start putting the leg holes. And to put the leg holes First, you need to measure your work and find the middle part of your work. And my shorts are 14 inches, so the middle will be 7. But where I've been joining using a slip stitch, that is the middle of your work. Take your stitch marker and insert it on the other side of your work, making sure it's on the same, same side with where we have been joining our work. Okay, that is the middle of our work. And now there is no chaining to and turning. Instead, you will chain 15 chains for size small, 20 chains for size medium, 25 chains for size large, and 30 for size extra large. Remember, we are creating now the leg hole. So if you are size small, chain 15. And I'm size small, so I will chain 15. The other sizes add five, five rows on each. Once you've joined, you've chained 15, you're going to join the 15 chains on this side here where you put your stitch marker. So remove your stitch marker and join using a slip stitch like that. Join using a slip stitch like that. And now we want to work on the double crochets. So once you have joined, chain two, one, two, and we are working with double crochets across all the 15 chains that we did, okay? Chain two and immediately start working with double crochets across the 15 chains. 
Okay, so do that and I'll meet you once you're done. Once you're done with the double crochets across all the 15 chains, we are continuing with double crochets on now one of the leg hold. That is how we put the middle part in between the legs. So we are now working with double crochets on this other side of our shorts. Okay? I hope you understand this. And we are doing double crochets all round on this one side until the end and I'll meet you once we're done with this row one of the first leg hold. Remember we are working with one leg hole at a time. So finish working on this first leg hole first then we'll start doing the other leg hole. But for now this is row one of the first leg hole and I'll meet you once we're done. Okay? So we are just doing double crochets all round and meet you once we are on this point. Once you get here, you will join using a slip stitch the same way we have been doing. Join on top of that chain 2 using a slip stitch like that. And then you will chain 2, turn your work and you are working the second row of double crochets okay so join using a slip stitch turn your work and do another row of double crochets and we are working like this until we get to the length where you want your shorts to reach and then we will start working on the mesh stitch so that's how we make one of the leg holes as you can see it's coming through and then we will do the other leg hole once you're done okay so um i did a total of five rows as i said we're working on one leg hole at a time i did a total of five rows and this is how my work looks and now we want to start working on the mesh stitch to work on the mesh stitch Remember, you just join using a slip knot, chain two, turn your work, and we are going to the second stitch. Skip this stitch, go to the skip this, go to the second stitch from the hook, and do a double crochet. Then you will chain one, yarn over skip this next stitch go to the next one and make a double crochet then chain one yarn over skip this stitch go to the next one and make a double crochet chain one yarn over skip this stitch go to the next one and make a double crochet so that's how we are working with the mesh, mesh stitch and you're working like that until we came we come to where we began from and then we will join using a slip stitch so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this first row of the mesh stitch okay um, this is how your work should look and we are at the end of row 1. So we are joining on top of chain 2. Remember the chain 2 that we do with a slip stitch like that. And then you will chain 2, turn your work and we are now working on top of the double crochets yarn over and go on top of that double crochet 
and do a double crochet then you will chain one yarn over go on top of the double crochet and do a double crochet chain one yarn over go on top of the first the double crochet and do a double crochet and we are working like that until the end and i did a total of eight rows so we are working like this until eight rows but remember you can make your short way longer so you can make more rows of the mesh stitch remember when you come to the end you join using a slip stitch chain two turn your work and you begin with the mesh stitch again Okay, I am done and this is how the first leg hole looks and I will show you how long it is in terms of inches and this is how long the mesh part is in terms of inches and this is how long my shorts are minus the mesh stitch and this is how long the short is from the waist up to the mesh stitch so this is how our shorts look and that is the mesh part and remember there is no ribbing done at the mesh stitch that i just finished up by completing using a slip stitch then cut off or stitch in your ends okay now we want to start working on the other leg hole Once you have reattached your yarn, chain two and begin working with double crochets, okay? Reattach your yarn, chain two and start working with double crochets all round. Remember where we have reattached our yarn? That's now where we will be doing our slip stitch while ending or beginning a new row, okay? I'm done with the first row of double crochets and we're joining here using a slip stitch chain to turn your work and it's a row of double crochets and now we will work like that until we get to three inches of double crochets then we'll begin working on the mesh stitch the same same thing I've done to the other leg hole so do that and I'll meet you once you're done with this other leg hole then we will start working on the waistline of our shorts. I am done and this is how my pair of short looks i hope yours looks the same too and now we want to work on the ribbing at the waist so to do that reattach your yarn and you're going to make a row of double crochets all round okay reattach your yarn and you're making a row of double crochets all around the waist area
then we draw one and we will join using a slip stitch join on top of that chain two using a slip stitch and now there is no turning your work once you've joined using a slip stitch we will not turn our work as we've been doing just chain two and go ahead and make front post and back post yarn over and the first stitch will go like this and make a front post go under the double crochet but first remember to yarn over go under like that the double crochet and make a front post okay go under it and finish up by making a double crochet that's how we create a front post yarn over and the second one will be a back post back post go from the back like that and finish up with a double crochet that is how we make a back post and we will alternate between front posts and back posts okay we are alternating between front posts and back posts and once you come to the end we will join at the end using a slip stitch and remember there is no turning your work you'll just chain two and start another row of front posts and back posts and i did a total of four rows of front posts and back posts as i said i did four rows of front posts and back posts and it looks like this and now we want to put the drawstring go ahead and chain a long chain i did 250 chains and now we want to put the drawstring and we're using a darning needle this is how we put the drawstring in the darning needle make sure you leave a long thread hanging around so that you'll be able to put the drawstring and we are putting it at the first at the last uh, front post and back post and we are going in and out in and out like this and then we will pull through like this so pull through like that and you'll go all round till you come here where we began from and that's how you put in your drawstring Are done and this is how a pair of shorts looks i hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial please remember to subscribe to my channel i love reading your comments so see you at the comment section and this is how i rocked my um shorts thank you again for watching have a blessed week see you in the next tutorial goodbye